Hello everyone, this is Jenkins Platform SIG meeting for August 26, 2022. Welcome Kevin, Alisa <laughs> and everyone. Today we have a small agenda. Uh, we will talk rapidly about open action items. We will talk about the previous suffix that should be removed in a few hours from uh, the controller uh, from the agent images. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the requirement for Java 11 or newer for the latest Jenkins core and maybe say a few words about uh, GDK 17 support in Jenkins and of course we'll end up with the DevOps World 2022 where the three of us should be there. Nice. So, without further ado, let's begin with the open action items. Unfortunately, it's about Mark's work, and Mark isn't there today. So, I don't know if he has been able to share the credentials with the infrastructure team for the, um, I think it's an IBM S390X, something like that. We'll see, maybe next time. Now, uh, the next subject is about the preview suffix removal from the GDK 17 agent images. Um, I submitted three issues a few weeks ago about that because um, what I read in the community.jetkins.io on uh, GitHub issues and so on was that, okay, it's officially supported uh, GDK 17. It's even part of the Jenkins core packages. So why uh, the agents still uh, had the suffix, you know, the preview suffix that didn't make sense to me. So I opened three issues and then uh, somebody called J. Barlin took uh, the issues and proposed three different um, pull requests that two of them got accepted this week. So it's over, it's closed, it's merged. Thanks a lot to J. Barlin, whoever he is or she is, I don't know. And the last one is still a work in progress. So we are looking at the PR273 um, for the inbound agent and maybe it will be merged later today or tomorrow. Thanks a lot for your work, Jay Bowling. Uh, that's useful to me. I will be able to change my Docker Compose file and so on. And I will not be the only one to um, benefit from your work. Thank you. Kevin or Lisa, anything to add for these two subjects? I don't have anything. Thank you. Next one, uh, require Java 11. It's been a while now that uh, Jenkins Core Weekly need the uh, GDK uh, 11. doesn't work anymore with Java 8. We don't support it anymore. And the LTS version from September will also need the GDK 11 or the 17 one. And the major thing we saw a few weeks ago was the need to move from uh, GT9 to GT10 because of that move to GDK 11. And in the latest release, we have seen uh, there is another thing that had to move. It is um, Winston that we had to move from 6.1 to 6.2. And other dependencies were upgraded, which, is, which are not linked directly to the move from GDK 8 to GDK 11. And they were about spring security from 5.7.2 to 5.7.2. Three, which have lots of security fixes and improvements. Um, regarding the next LTS baseline, so three, uh, 2.361.x, maybe dot three, Kevin, you know it better than I do, um, the proposed backport uh, to JD10. So it's part of a later weekly release, but uh, somebody proposed a backport from GT10, from 9 to 10 into the next LTS, so that users in September will benefit from that GT10 and GDK11 uh, thing. Anything to add, Kevin, about that? Uh, yeah, so uh, we did also include some of that information in the upgrade guide. Um, and the uh, Basil updated the require Java 11 blog post as well. That's in uh, the uh, the, the blog already. So um, it does mention a couple things about the JDK 11 and uh, especially Open JDK 11. So it uh, that is included, and, and we uh, we do recognize that it will be coming. Uh, the fix is already kind of in place. It's just not in the release yet. So, um, but yeah, I think and I think 2.361.3 is correct. But uh, well, I'll double check Mark. Yeah. 
Thank you, Kevin. And regarding the Java 17 support in Jenkins, I haven't seen anything new, anyone complaining about uh, things that don't work in mode with Java 17. It's almost the contrary. Things that work kind of wonky with uh, GDK 11 work better with Java 17. I've been running it for a few weeks now um, and it works beautifully for me. I haven't seen anything wrong with Java GDK 17. Okay, my builds are pretty small and not that ambitious, but that does work for me. And that should work for a lot of other people too. Anything uh, to add about that subject, Kevin? Not from my side. Okay, thank you. I don't know about um, the weekly CI Jenkins IO and the infra CI Jenkins IO. If they have been migrated to GDK 17, I can't remember, it was part of the last meeting. I don't think we um, talked about that. So maybe, maybe not. Mark would be able to tell us about that in the next occurrence of this meeting. Anyhow, next subject is DevOps World 2022 in Orlando in September, a few weeks from now. It's almost tomorrow. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid. Uh, I have a um, workshop with Mark uh, Waite and John Mark Mason about uh, open source contributing uh, around Jenkins. Things are beginning to take shape. And I also have a talk uh, about Android building like that. So lots of work ahead of us. Alisa, would you have anything to share with us regarding uh, maybe the um, uh, workshop or the um, uh, Jenkins Contributor Summit? Anything? Uh, yeah, so the, the Jenkins Contributor Summit, um, I should be setting out an updated agenda next week. Cool. Um, so since the first initial conversation that you shared on Discourse, Bruno, uh, we've had a couple of new updates added to the agenda, so I will um, send that communication out probably early next week with an updated agenda. And then uh, maybe, and I'll also check in with Isla to see how many people have signed up for the workshop, uh, uh, the, con the, the, the contributing to the open source workshop. So... If I can get some numbers on that, that's available. I will share that with you. Great. Thanks a lot. I don't want to tell a secret. I'm not supposed to tell, but uh, I heard that some people wanted to be part of the contributing, uh, the contributor summit talking about uh, Mark, uh, how to build iOS uh, builds with um, Mac instances. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Okay. Yes. Without telling any name, uh, that is something of interest for the platform SIG, I guess, because yes, it's another platform. It's kind of difficult, nothing linked to Jenkins directly, but it's kind of difficult to use Mac uh, to build something, uh, except if you're dealing with it in on a daily basis, but it's not an easy to approach platform and putting that in the CI, whoa, it's often really difficult. So if some people want to share their experience with that and tell us how easy it is now i'm all ears <laughs> i can't yeah. wait to hear what they have to say about that because on a daily basis i'm struggling with that anyhow yeah <laughs> yeah it, well it's 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 actually aws that's going to be speaking about it so it would be a say. very okay. interesting <laughs> topic yes we can say it. so the mac ec2 instances mm -hmm. yes thanks a lot alisa uh yeah. i think that was our last subject on the agenda would any one of us uh, have something else to add to the agenda? A question, a remark? I don't have cool. anything. Looks I'm like we're set. good to go. That was a quick one. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot for attending it. I think the video should be available in a few hours or at worst on Monday. Um, if we don't see each other by then, have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.